what's up guys in this episode we are going to be installing a triple tree I'm gonna show you how to cut it how to install your headset with your triple tree let's go alright guys there's a few videos out there already of how to install these triple trees but I do them a little bit differently uh, we're actually going to do some leg extensions on here because these are not going to pull the wheel out far enough so we're gonna actually cut these I'll add my leg extensions to them I'll show you how to cut the head tube or the steering tube so that you know exactly where to cut it and don't do like I have done before in the past cut it too short by accident because once you've done that this thing's no good anymore unless you're gonna weld up some surgery anyway let me get this broken down we're gonna bring the frame in so that I can put the headset on the frame because that's the first thing you got to do and then we'll get all this fitted in there and start uh, scribing where we want to get this stuff cut. All right guys, opening the uh, headset here, just getting it all taken apart so I can lay it out and I know that I have everything. That's important. Make sure that you have all your pieces. Now we're gonna get our cups into the head tube here. We're gonna have to give it a little persuasion, but that's normal. They don't fit, or you want them to fit pretty snug. So if you gotta get a little mallet to them, give them a little mallet action. Here I'm just laying something out so that I don't scratch the black parts of the triple trees. I don't really care about the legs because I am going to be redoing those. Here you'll notice that the race does not fit. So we're going to have to get that to be a little bigger. Now you don't necessarily need to use this kind of tool. A Dremel will be just fine, but I have the tool. I might as well use it. You just open it up just a little bit to make sure that it can press fit on to the steering tube. And here I'm just dropping down the plastic crown, I guess you would call it, and then your bearing. And that's what goes on first before you slide it into the head tube. And then here's our steering neck. You're going to need that in a minute. All right, I'm bringing the frame in. I'm going to lay it down. Make sure you got a nice comfortable position because this is all just test fitting right now. You're going to slide the head tube in from the bottom and you want to make sure that it is sitting in there nice and tight because here's where you're going to get your measurement to start cutting your steering tube. Throw your bearing on, then you've got your top cap. From your top cap, you're going to have a piece of rubber that goes on. It's like a rubber washer. Make sure that the uh, part where it's facing down slides in, and then you're going to have another washer that goes on top of that before you put the top of the triple tree on. All right, the top of the triple tree goes on there now. Just kind of make sure everything's nice. Squeeze it so that you can make sure that there is no play in the center of the head tube. That's the most important part is you don't want any play. So now we're going to throw on the gooseneck. And here is where we will take, uh, just take anything sharp that you can to give yourself some scribe marks. You do not want to be on top of the gooseneck. You want to go down probably maybe a quarter of an inch to uh, get where you need to be. You can see the scribe mark here and what you want to do is cut underneath that scribe mark because if you don't when you go try to put it all together it's going to catch itself and you're going to have head play in the head tube here you need to put that little screw that bolt that goes down inside of the head tube it doesn't need to go down super far but far enough i slowed this down for you you can see that i put the plastic cover on first this is like a dust cover and then you're going to put the bearing on make sure that the bearings are facing up because they need to go into the head tube at the bottom and then they're going to be facing down because you need to go down into the head tube at the top next is your crown i'm just like again i got it in slow motion so that you guys can see it but the crown goes in kind of give it a spin make sure there's no uh binding and then there's that rubber washer again that i was talking about we're going to slide that on and again make sure that the concave on that rubber washer is facing down and then the main metal washer which is just there to squeeze everything together without binding that rubber washer here you're going to put the top crown on and then you're going to tighten everything together now that you've got the steering neck on and that little allen key bolt at the top go ahead and squeeze that together but don't get it over excessive when you're tightening this down because you'll bind it to where it won't want to spin you want it to spin nice and loosely, but you don't want to feel any play inside of the head tube. It should be nice and floppy, just like that. Nice and floppy.
All right, time to cut the fork. We're not gonna need the bottom brackets because we're gonna use our own. So we're gonna cut those off and I like to try to tape them together like this so that I can make sure I'm cutting both at the same time, so the same length, no questions asked. And here we're gonna cap those off. Now that we've cut them, there's a big huge hole. So we need to cap them. So we're gonna grab some 16 gauge steel and we're gonna use the piece of the fork that I already had laying around to trace the circles the best I can. And yes, I know in the comments, yes, I am tack welding these. It's 16 gauge steel. It doesn't need to get super burned through, but I do love cleaning it up. I like to make sure that I do a lot of good metal finishing here. The reason I'm using a DA with some uh, 80 grit on there is to clean the metal up real nice. It makes everything look professional. And these right here are my own extended drops. They, they do really well if you're running a 29 inch front wheel or you want to poke that front end out a little bit. This aluminum block here is what's going to hold everything down. It's about a half inch thick. Uh, it allows me to put my fork right up against it and it's the perfect distance that I need when I put the front wheel on. I'm going to shut up for now and let you listen to some frying bacon. want some hit up gearhead customs my buddy john can cut you these right here if you need them just in case you want to run a bigger front wheel so like if you want to run a 29 inch front wheel on one of my frames you're gonna need these right here these are done these are headed off to california with the frame i just built hey guys i hope you enjoyed this episode let me know if you want to see more of these and please hit that subscribe button and make sure you check out the website right here for uh, all the merchandise we do got some new stuff dropping really soon. So thanks again guys. Hit that thumbs up and I'll see you guys real soon.